Hello everyone, cool1177 here, and today we got two of these ginormous boxes of Legos that totals to 30 pounds of Legos for an amazing deal. So let's get right into it. guys that box that you just saw was one of two boxes that i got for completely free that's right guys today i got two boxes of legos free and they were no shabby boxes at all in fact i think this one is actually better than my last haul and that one was not free i'll have you know so today we're going to take a look at some of the things that i got in there and maybe even look through some of the bags so let's go so the first thing that I wanted to cover was our animals that we got in this. And these are just the ones that I pulled out. And a lot of these, you can tell, are from the castle line. We've got three classic Lego horses in black, brown, and white. I personally only have a white and black horse. I don't actually have a brown horse. This is cool. And I don't have any of these classic ones. So that's really awesome that we got these classic castle horses. Because, well, I didn't have any. We also got this cow or bull or whatever you want to call it, which isn't very old as far as I'm aware, but I am really happy to finally get my hands on that. And we got a black squid, which is from, I believe, the original Classic Pirates. Based on some of the other things we found, I think this is Classic Pirates. Now, this one is an interesting one. A lot of people would say that this is a Harry Potter piece, and I still have not done enough research to figure out what it is from. But this horse is different from the Harry Potter one. This horse, this cat is not from the Harry Potter one because it has a slight difference of black and uh, blue details on it, unlike the Harry Potter one, which was completely bare. So this one, I believe, goes for 13 to $20, depending on what you get it from. Uh, but from what I saw from my really, really little research, this one goes for around that range. And it is a very interesting cat, being that it is, and let me just grab my Homer Simpson figure that I got standing here. Being, you know, half the size of a human, as you guys can see, you know, totally atomically correct. So now let's get into the next thing that we found. So the next thing was minifigures and minifigure parts in general. And these are just a few that we pulled out. There are definitely a ton more minifigures in there. And obviously not all of these guys have their right heads yet. But I will probably get to that and maybe we'll do an updated video eventually of the rare minifigures we found. So, you guys can notice that we've gotten a lot of minifigure torsos, a lot of minifigure helmets, and stuff like that. And then we also got a few more that I want to show in the final thing, but that's for later. So, the first thing is a classic pirate torso and, I believe, pants. Uh, this is actually a really cool piece, and I've never actually seen this in person. So, I am super excited to see where the rest of these guys' parts are, because, well, I'll be looking forward to putting him back together. The next one is a chrome-colored Stormtrooper body. Have not found the helmet yet. Have not done enough digging, I don't think, either, though. So I am expecting to find the chrome helmet. And if I don't, it will be kind of sad. But maybe we can find a way to purchase our chrome Stormtrooper helmet. But yep, super cool. Ahsoka Tana is the next minifigure we got. And this is the only minifigure that we have fully built. And I'm super happy that we got this one. I'm not much of a Clone Wars fan myself, but this is definitely a cool minifigure just in general with the orange and the hair piece is also very interesting. The next one is from Lego Studios, which is our cameraman, which isn't actually that expensive to get if you really want him, but he is an older minifigure, which I am really happy to get. Always happy to get some older stuff. He does not have his correct face or hat right now, but... Overall, I'm super excited to try and find the original camera piece for this guy, because hopefully it's in there. The next minifigure is from Power Miners, I believe. Obviously missing a hand at the moment, and he's got a face that I'm not sure if it is his. I hope it is. But I really like this torso and pants. I mean, it's very tech-like, very cool-looking, and very futuristic. I'm super excited to see what set he was from and how much he is worth. And the next one brings me back to my childhood, which is a Clutch Powers uh, minifigure. Can't remember what his name is, and I'm sure I'll look it up and be like, oh, of course it was that. Um, this is his original face. I don't remember for sure if these are his right clothes, but that face, I just remember. It's Clutch Powers' uh, friend in the movie, and just awesome to finally get an official Clutch Powers minifigure. 
The next one also brings me back to my childhood, which is an Indiana Jones um, female figure piece. Don't know what set this is from. All I know is that I recognize this face, and I'm super excited to try and find the rest of her because this has always been a set I've wanted. The next one is Hagrid's beard, and sadly, I don't think the rest of Hagrid's in here, so I think we're just going to have Hagrid's beard and maybe try and make it work with someone. <laughs> The next one, I believe, is from Lego Castle, uh, but I could be wrong. Just a really cool dress piece. This one, I this bear uh, six-pack figure, I think, is from Prince of Persia. I could be wrong, though. You guys can let me know in the comments down below. We also got a brand new uh, Luke torso. It seems like it's one of the newer ones. Uh, so not very rare, but just cool to get that. Another Prince of Persia piece, which is really cool. I really like this piece. It works really well with minifigures and, you know, just super cool. Way better than I think than just like the turban piece. The next one is our beard piece, which is a super cool beard piece. I think I actually got one of these in a set, but not in this color. So I'm super excited to use this. And we also got this other castle uh, helmet. I did not get his face out of there yet, but we probably will. But keep it, because it is an original. And this next one, I cannot see for sure, because my eyes are not the best at looking this small. But I believe this is a Lego uh, official sword holder. So it would go on the back of a minifigure, put the swords in, and boom. But now it's time to get into some of the cooler stuff, in my opinion. So let's go. So guys, here is basically the random stuff that we had left. And you guys can see that there are definitely some cool themes in here we've got castle we've got mars mission we've got harry potter and i can't think of what the theme was for this but it is so cool that we got this now let's just go over what we got here first off we got our goblin figures here of course our big fig which is super cool looking i'm super excited to have him because i've always wanted him i feel like he was in clutch powers but i could be wrong but it is super cool to get a goblin guy from a castle and then of course we got a minifigure version of them which has a very smooth moving head actually like crazy smooth uh which might be a problem eventually but for now i think i'm super happy with getting this guy as well i've always loved the um the the helmets and grays that you get with uh castle it's such an interesting color and i can't seem to get his head off with that right now but yeah you guys can just see that gray is just super cool with the spots and everything another thing from castle was this gate which i've never actually seen before and i'm super excited to get it I, it's very cool looking and who knows maybe there's parts of the castle in there if you know what i'm saying build up that castle for mars mission we got our alien here which i have seen before but never in person and he is so cool looking and, of course, one of the first things we tried was, well, can we put a piece through him? And you can. You could probably stab him with our lightsaber that we also have here, you know, just gone. Dead. But, yep, super excited to get Mars Mission. Another piece that we got from Mars Mission is here. Uh, I have not actually looked up, you know, what set this is, but I'm super excited to see what set this is from and how much it might be worth, because... Well, Mars Mission is one of the cooler things, in my opinion. The next one is our Harry Potter boat. Uh, this one is very dirty right now, as you can see. It, it's got a lot of spots on it and stuff like that. And I, I hate that. I hate that a lot. So we're going to have to clean this up. And I believe we got another boat. Uh, you guys can see there's some glue there. It's kind of disappointing. But we can get that all off. And I'm just super excited to use this in maybe even our beach area because it could be very cool to get a bunch of people to go to the beach with that boat and of course we got another one another thing for the harry potter uh sets was this wheel here which uh i'm pretty sure my brother said it was from the sorting hat set which is super cool you know we've got all of the houses and stuff like that and it's just super cool piece i really like it it's a interesting wheel in general Lego Wild West, can we call it for this, I suppose? Uh, I believe this is an official Lego window, uh, the sheriff's window, and it is super cool indeed. And the last thing from this part is our brick separator, which is an original brick separator in gray. I believe these also came in green. 
uh, obviously looks a little bit different from our newer ones. Um, I think the point on our newer ones works better than this, but the prying on this one works a lot better. So I don't know, it's, it's pick what you want. And this one I think I'm gonna use more often just to pry things off because instead of having to get under it, I can just pry them off now. So that's super awesome. Another thing we got today was this giant boat. Um, just super cool to get that. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for just because, well, I have my Coast Guard boat and I was going to use that, but this doesn't have any stickers on it. So who knows? Maybe we could see this sometime being used. We also got some interesting base plates. This one is definitely the most interesting. I think this is from Prince of Persia, but I could be wrong. Uh, and it's, it's just a super interesting base plate in general. And I don't know what I'm going to use this for, uh, but it's just super cool in general. And then for our other base plates, we just got some gray ones a green one we got a few more and then we also got this tan one along with just a few more in there but overall that's like the crazy stuff we pulled out in the couple minutes we went digging through there but let me know what you guys think about this all what's your favorite theme that we got from here uh and yeah that's pretty much all i've got for today guys make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content here and for now this is cool one one seven seven saying over and out guys <laughs>